Tonight, a family is relieved after finding out the woman who ran over and killed 25-year-old Tavares Threadcraft will remain in jail for 20 years. This was a court case three years ago in the making, and in a story you'll only see here on 11 Alive, Tavares' mother is sharing her story. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles has more for us from her. Well, Jeff, Jennifer Threadcraft says she knew something was up when she noticed constant arguing between her son and his killer, but she never thought his girlfriend was capable of this, calling her evil. The call a mother never wants to receive. In the middle of the night at 125. Mommy, come quick. I think Tavares just got hit. I heard a big kaboom when I went by a van. Especially not from her son's girlfriend. Jennifer Threadcraft was holding on to hope that Tavares was clinging on to dear life after a hit and run. But it wasn't that simple. Jennifer said she knew something was wrong when she tried to reason with the couple earlier. Y'all toxic. Why don't y'all just break up? A couple hours later, I found out, you know, she ended up killing him. Here's what the DeKalb County District Attorney says happened three years ago. Tavares and his then-girlfriend, 36-year-old Vanessa Dates Bell, had been arguing. During the disagreement, video proves that Dates Bell threatened to run him over. Tavares was walking near Farrington Road and Willowick Drive in Stonecrest. An Uber Eats driver hits him, leaving him sprawled out on the road. But he's still alive. While the driver called 911 and rendered aid, authorities say Dates Bell ran him over in her mother's car, killing him. But if you let Uncle Charles Bradford for tell it. She had already hit him when he just happened to gain his composure to stand up and a car hit him and then she came back to finish it. After that, the district attorney says Dates Bell fled to New York but was later caught. Thursday, she was finally convicted for Tavares' death and is sentenced to serve two decades in prison. Jennifer says she has yet to see remorse. I'm not even mad. Like, why? The family miss him. And now that it's over, she clings to the memories. You got those people that got to smile for every emotion, but they never frown. That was Tavares. Tavares was her knee baby, her second youngest. The miracle of irony, Jennifer says she was blessed with a gander of grandsons. So the sweet smiles of her little ones, like Michelangelo, keep her going. And while Dates Bell may have seen her just do in court, Uncle Bradford says he hasn't recovered from the shock. He's no longer with us. She's still eating every day. Jennifer says she's also a psychologist who started an organization to help others in honor of her son. We'll have more information on that on 11alive.com. All right, Teresa, thank you. Good evening. Today is Tuesday. It's September 26, the year is 2023, and I am in Tulum, Mexico, at the beach, my favorite place to be. It's in the evening time. I've been just up the gym. I was working out. I said I'm going to do a quick little video. Um, quick little video down here by the beach. Exhausted. I just left that gym. I don't know. You know, you've been drinking all day. You decide, I'm going to go to the gym. It's <laughs> not a good idea. So, you see the beach behind me. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. The water was warm. I swam in it. I had a great, great time here in Tulum, Mexico. Mexico, the food's great. Yeah, it's a nice resort. I've had a nice time here. Sit out here. Oh, I had a nice time here. Now I'm going to sit here listen to the ocean, the water, the beach. It's quiet. Last night here. Short little vacation. Now right, get back to the real world. Two room is beautiful. Um, a lot of construction going on here, a lot of condos being built, a lot of resorts, a lot of stuff being built, a uh, lot to see, a lot to do, it's gorgeous, beautiful, the water is, today the water is kind of rough, you know, the waves are huge, coming over people's heads really tall, wow, the waves, those waves are up there today, tonight, they're huge, I don't know if y'all can see the waves, the waves are really big, you see the people, oops, can you see those people? How the waves are coming in over their head. I mean, those waves are huge. So I mean, anyway, so I'm just sitting here. Where's my phone? Is here. Enjoying this beautiful last night. Actually, I need to go find me something to eat. I'm getting hungry. I found something to eat. For dinner. 
Anyway, so this is a quick little video. Uh, I will speak to you all later. Let me go find me something to eat. Today is Tuesday, September 26th. Smaller video. I'll do something with another one before I leave. Right now, I'm starving. Wow. It just kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. I guess I went to that gym and was working out. And really, I hadn't ate nothing since about lunchtime. And laid down and took a nap and sleep all afternoon. Anyway, I'm going to post some videos, uh, some pictures, and some other stuff from my trip to the room. And I'll see you all when I get back home. And I'm out of here. from Tulum. Today is Sunday. It is October 1st, new month. The year is 2023, October 1st. This year is flying by. Um, I saw that video news report and I thought, wow. A 36-year-old woman kills her 25-year-old boyfriend, runs him over with her car. Um, they get, they've been fighting and arguing the whole day. She ends up killing him and now she gets 20 years in prison. I don't know about y'all, but I'm not going to prison for 20 years for nobody. Uh, not nobody is uh, for what? Do y'all not realize there are five, six, seven, eight? That means billions of people. Well, let me Google this mess. I mean, how many billions of people on this planet Earth? How many people? How many people on planet Earth? All right, how many people on planet? Eight billion people. Almost 8 billion people. So you mean to say out of all these 8 billion people running around planet Earth, you can't find you another man? Another woman? Another... You, you, out of all these 8, this is it? This, this is it? 
crimes of passion. Uh, I guess I don't I don't have that type of crime put that in my head. Because if I, we can't make it work, I'm a, and even the mama always said that the, mom, the mother in the video said they were toxic and needed to be separate. And what was a 25 year old man doing a, you know, if y'all can't get along, what what is the purpose of being? Some people think relationships about fussing, and fighting, and arguing. And I've noticed that even with relationships and friendships, especially with you niggas, some black folks just think it ain't true love unless you fuss and fight and arguing, going to jail. I've met some of the nicest people, and they told me about the relationships they were in, and they ended up going to jail because some woman hit them, and the police got called out, and just all kinds of shit. I say, damn, I didn't think that ever happened to you. It happens to everybody. Walk away. I've been to jail. Earl, I got arrested because his dumb ass. See, I ain't calling the police for what? What they calling the police over here? I go on by my damn business. Girl, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police for what? You know, just ignorance. Girl used to get drunk and act the damn fool. They just don't make no use to get drunk. <laughs> okay, still do. But anyway, I'm not about to kill nobody and spend 20 years of my life in prison. Um, it ain't worth it. Relationships in. Move on. So many other people out there, so, so, you know, you be some of y'all seem to think this is my life. I, I, I hear about these murder suicides, and I think, did they really think this was it? This was the only person that they could find to love them? Y'all, I have seen people in wheelchairs, missing limbs, dating some fine people. I said, Ooh, they make a happy couple. As long as you still walk around on planet Earth, you're still alive, you can go find another relationship if you want one. This person you with that it ain't working with y'all up here fussing, fighting, arguing. Like the mama said, it was toxic. You know, if the relationship that bad, then leave it alone. I don't like toxic relationship, whether it's a family member, a friend, or a neighbor, or whoever. I don't like all that toxicity. Some people love that type of stuff. I'm going to go tell him off. I can't wait for you to get here so I can do that. I ain't got time for all this shit. If we ain't making money, traveling, going places, Having fun and enjoying each other's come. I don't want to be bothered with no. I don't want to be bothered. Period. I mean, we ain't having fun. At first, we ain't making no money together. If we can't make money together, it's a wrap. <laughs> I can't be the only one over here hustling and making money. You ain't doing shit. No, we got to make it together. So our pot of gold be together. If you, if, if you date them around, if a nigga, if you in a relationship with a man or woman, and y'all ain't making no money together, in that terminate that shit immediately. Uh, shit. I look at these people next door to me. I mean, you know, my neighbors next to me, they bought this house. They working their ass off. They own all these businesses and stuff, hustling. Young couple. I think they're Indian or Pakistani. I'm not too sure. Black folks be worried about the wrong motherfucking shit. If, if, somebody, if you're in a relationship and somebody's constantly nagging you about where you at and what you're doing, you terminate that mess. What's the point? And if y'all not making no money together, and you're not building something together. What is the point of being together? Just so we can fuss and fight and argue over nothing? No. <laughs> Goodbye. I hate that man got out that car in the middle of the night and was walking along that road. They believe she hit him first. Then another car hit him. And then she finished it up. Just ignorant. Who, who, I'm not about to hit nobody with none of these damn cars over here. It has never crossed my mind to harm a soul. Nobody. I didn't work. I don't want to go to jail. I guess because I've been there. You know when you've been in places like that, like, you don't want to go back, especially for no 20-year bid. What the fuck wrong with this crazy bitch? But, hey, I'm not doing it. It ain't worth it to me. To me, I'm not doing that bullshit. I'm not about to hurt nobody. If the relationship needs to end, you want to go your separate, I'm going to sign with me because I know there's 10,000 other niggas that have been texting me already in my DM. One of the two is what I want to deal with. I ain't dealing with his crazy ass. Nah. Well, this one seems kind of nice. He says some nice things. What you doing? Let's do good with some lunch. Life goes on. Ain't the end of the world. Just a relationship in. My goodness. Y'all think this is it. This is this. This is it. Like the Michael Jackson concert. This is it. No, this ain't it. There are other folks out there. There's eight people on planet Earth. Go find you somebody else to spend your argue with. But I, that's another thing. I don't want to be arguing with nobody about nothing. Yeah, I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue with my mama. I don't want to argue with my friends. I don't want to argue with nobody about nothing. I'm not doing it. Some people enjoy that shit. Some people actually enjoy that bullshit, my sister. But I don't like that shit. Uh, 
excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, lower that down. And then red rock for my indigestion. Better. I'm not about to argue with nobody and fuss and fight with somebody about a bunch of bullshit. Then she gets in the car and runs this man over here only 25 years of age and got children. Now they children. I mean, what kind of, what, what's wrong with you niggas? I know white folks do it too. White folks do it too. I know they do do it. Because there was a white woman in Texas who ran her husband over. She called him just a few years back. They even made a movie about it. She caught her husband coming out of some restaurant with her cheat out of some hotel or something. She Mercedes, she had an S class. She ran him over a couple times while her daughter stood there watching. So uh, y'all some I <laughs> okay. Yeah, white folks do it too. Yeah, we know that too. That don't make it right. <laughs> Shit. I ain't about to kill nobody and be and spend all that. And then she and the crazy part is that woman who did that, she's out of prison now. They just did it a few years ago. They did something she served I don't know how much maybe she did fifteen years or something. I'm not sure how much time she served, but I know she is out of prison now. Um, is it worth it? I don't think so, y'all. Come on now. I don't care if the nigga was, the man was cheating on her. I don't give a fuck about that bullshit. I ain't about to do or go through all that drama. They ain't about to slap me in handcuffs and feed me dog food for the next 10, 15 years with no medical help in a prison full of crazy ass people. No, thank you. You going about your business, I going about my business. At the end of that, we ain't got to worry about that shit no more. This my thoughts on it. <laughs> y'all yeah, might want to listen to me. I know some of y'all probably over there plotting and planning and get your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, lover, right about now. Leave that shit long. Leave that nigga long. Leave that white man long. White woman, whatever. Hispanic, whoever. And go on about your business. There's so many other people to choose from. And stay out these talking relations. When you meet somebody, all they want to do. I've met guys, and y'all, I've met guys within just a few days of knowing them, the arguing starts, the arguing, 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 bickering, arguing. Oh, I'm like, okay, this ain't gonna work. Why didn't you call me back? Because oh, you argue too much about nothing. You ever met somebody who just wanna argue about absolutely nothing? They have, everything's an argument. I don't wanna be bothered with that bullshit. So I meet somebody and all we gotta do is argue, it's a constant argument, I will lose my number. I got other shit I need to do besides arguing you about nothing. I'm not arguing about you about shit. This damn sun is hot as hell out here. This sun is hot. So this can be a short little video. Lord, it's hot out here. Um, But I had a great time in Mexico. I think I'm going to attach some of the pictures and videos I made when I was down in Mexico and Tulum. I was there just a short little vacation to get away from Atlanta. Y'all know how much I hate Atlanta. I hate this real place. In fact, I am going to be spending a month in Miami. I'm trying to book it now, so I'm going. I'm in the Airbnb, and I'll be in Miami for about a month. That's what I'm plan, plotting and planning on. I want to spend a month down there to see if I really like it. Um, we'll see. So it's gonna be a little short video because I got a whole bunch of shit I need to do inside this house, y'all. I'm shooting back here. The girls didn't come didn't come to clean today, and. I just got a bunch of shit I need to do. But I wanted to do that video. I saw that news article and it kind of st stood out to me. It was just kind of, don't, uh, it doesn't, y'all, there's too many other people to choose from. It ain't worth it. It's not worth killing that person, taking their life away, and spending years behind bars over nothing. I can, y'all can imagine they were probably arguing over nothing. Niggas love to argue about nothing. Bunch of fucking bullshit. That's just how they are. But I know, I know, I know y'all can't wait. Them white folks do it. They do it. Yeah, we know white folks, Mexicans, Asians, they all do it. Yeah, the Asians have killed their partners and husbands and wives and girlfriends, too. We know. This is not just niggas. This is something that happens all over the world. Don't make it right. And I don't, and I, I won't participate in I like my freedom. I like being able to travel, go places, and do shit with my damn life. I don't know about y'all. It ain't worth it. Let the relationship go and go on with your life. Go live a normal life. Just let it go. Leave that toxic shit behind. But anyway, today is October, Sunday, October 1st, year 2023. I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I got a bunch of shit I need to do. And um, I look forward to reading y'all's comments. I'm back in the United States. Which I was still, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm gonna put a couple of pictures and videos in when I was in Tulum, Mexico. It was beautiful. It was really nice. But I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm out.